And now it's time for the Weekly Days of Our Lives report. Big praise for you Days of Our Lives for today for just going for it and just laying it all out there. I loved it. Here's what happened is that Rafe, without his memory, managed to find his way to the safe house where he and Sammy first fell in love. Coincidentally, Sammy was at the safe house mourning the death of their relationship because she'd been with Robo Rafe the whole time and he was a real prick. So, anyways, Rafe shows up and he says, who are you? And Sammy says, get out of here, I hate you. And Rafe tries to convince her that he doesn't have any recollection of who she is and she is unconvinced that he's just not messing with her some more. So she goes to leave and she opens the door and Robo Rafe is standing outside the door. So now Sammy is standing in front of both Rafes. And that was awesome. I loved it. I haven't really talked about Chloe in a while because she hasn't been bugging me as much because, you know, all her secrets and lies came out. So now everything's out in the open and everybody hates her and she's just being tortured all the time. And, you know, that's not as annoying as her keeping secrets from everybody. But anyways, she, she's so bad that now I think, I, I'm not quite sure, but it looks like she may be considering a career as a call girl. And if she does, I'm on board with that. Because, you know, if Chloe's not going to leave Salem, the best thing that can happen to her is to continue sinking into the depths of despair. I hate you, Chloe. It's time for your Days of Our Lives product placement moment of the week. I think this one might even be my favorite one yet. Even better than the time that Caroline in her own restaurant was trying to sell her customers on bag Chinese, frozen bag Chinese food. Anyway, check this out. It's Jennifer and Abigail. They're hanging out at the Brady Pub and they have a, having a moment together. Here we go. Sweetie, are you okay? Do you have a headache? Oh God, you know what I hate more than people feeling sorry for me? That time of the month. Oh, yes, the joys of womanhood. Oh, the worst. <laughs> do you have any aspirin? Um, I don't, but you know what I do have? I have Might All Complete. Oh, well, I had Might All Complete. I now have an empty bottle. <laughs> but you know what? This stuff really works. I'm telling you, it relieves cramps, <laughs> bloating, fatigue, and headache. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Well, I am sold. You hear that? It relieves cramps, bloating, fatigue, and headache. <laughs>